Hi, this is Sophie. Um, I know you guys missed me over the summer, but um, this is my iMovie for the boy in striped pajamas. So, first off, I'm going to start by introducing the main characters of this book. So, if you look in the top left-hand corner, that is the father. He is a mil he's a soldier and he is the main person who works at the concentration camp, which we'll talk about later. Right next to him is the mother, and she is against what her husband is doing for a living, and she wants to protect her children throughout the book. Right next to her is Gretel. She is the daughter, and she is 12 years old. And next is Bruno with the sweater vest on, and he is the main person of this book. And next to him is Shmuel. We'll talk about him later, but he is basically a Jew who is being held captive. So in this next picture, it is Bruno with his three best friends for life. It, their names are Martin, Daniel, and Carl. And Bruno lived in Berlin with a five-story house and with flower baskets and flower stands outside. One day, his father needed to work at Outwith, and they needed to move. So, Gretel and Bruno, once they moved there, they hated it. And Bruno says that he misses his three best friends for life. So, when Bruno gets to Outwith, he goes to his room, and he looks through his window and sees the fence and the people on the other side with the striped pajamas on, and he thinks it's a farm with a bunch of farmers. And he asks his father who those people are and why they have striped pajamas on. So one day, Bruno decided that he was bored. And he wanted to make a tire swing, so he did. And he played on it for a while, and he fell and cut his knee. So his waiter, Pavel, came outside and cleaned it up for him. And during, like, cleaning up his knee... He told he tells Bruno on how he used to be a doctor. And Bruno says, well, if you were a doctor and you're now a waiter, you must have been a bad doctor. And Pavel wasn't a bad doctor. He is actually a Jew, and he's being held captive. And then his mom came home, and his mom took the credit for cleaning up Bruno's knee because their dad was against... Jews touching his kids and being in his house. So Bruno wants to be an explorer when he grows up. So he decided he was bored and he went exploring. So he saw something moving in the distance and he wanted to see what it was. When he got closer, he then figured out it was a boy. So then they started talking and his name is Shmuel. And they realized that they were the same age and they had the same birthday. They became friends very easily, and they became friends, and they started seeing each other on a regular basis. So, as soon as Bruno and Shmuel became closer friends, they started talking more, and Bruno found out about Shmuel before he was in this concentration camp. So, he lived with his mom and his dad and his grandfather. His grandfather made watches, and his mother made him a armband, of the Star of David, which is, which basically means you're a Jew. And that's the picture with the blue and the white. And he said that he never asked for one, but he got one anyways. And Bruno says, well, my father has the same exact one, but on his uniform. And that's the Nazi sign with the red, the white, and the black. So, one day, Shmuel was ordered to go to Bruno's house to clean glasses. So, he sees Bruno there, and Bruno asks if he's hungry. So, of course, Shmuel says he is hungry, and Bruno gives him some food to eat. So then, Lieutenant Kotler, which is one of the soldiers, he comes in, and he sees Shmuel eating some food. And he asks, did you steal from this family? And he says, no, he gave it to me. He's my friend. And then he asks Bruno, Do you know this boy, and why is he saying you're his friend? 
he says no and he did steal from me and then they get in trouble and Bruno is off to his room so one day Bruno and Gretel get lice and he has to shave his head so he does that and the next day he goes to talk to Shmuel on their daily basis talk Shmuel laughs at him because he looks weird with the shaved head so in his mind Bruno wonders if why on the other side of the fence why their heads are shaved so one day Bruno's mother and father were fighting in his father's office and he was trying to listen in and all he heard was his mother trying to say that they want to go home and that she wants her and her kids to be protected so by the end of this fight the father realizes that this is not the right place for them and that he wants them to go back home to Berlin. Bruno is not happy because he doesn't want to leave Schmuel, but Gretel and the mom are very happy to go back to Berlin. So when Bruno went to go back to see Schmuel for the last time before he was going to move back to Berlin, Schmuel mentions that his dad is lost and that he can't find him. So Bruno says, I really want to come over to your side of the fence and want to help you find your dad. So Shmuel says, well, you can do that if I give you some striped pajamas. So Bruno accepts that and Shmuel gives him some striped pajamas. So Bruno changes into the striped pajamas, digs a hole under the fence and climbs under the fence. He gets over. So when Bruno gets over to Shmuel's side of the fence, he realizes that it wasn't what he pictured. So all of a sudden, Bruno and Shmuel hear a whistle. And Shmuel says to Bruno, sometimes people go on marches. So I think we're doing that now. And they go on a march and they find themselves in a room and all of a sudden it just goes all black and after that nothing was heard of Bruno again so thank you guys for watching um this book was very educational and after I read the book I watched the movie with my family and what's sad is that this is not just a book or a movie this happened in real life and the moral of the story is you shouldn't judge people just because they're different.